Now we're going to move on to a circle problem. Here we have a circle that is written in the form of a parametric equation. x equals 6 plus 5 cosine t and y equals 3 plus 5 sine t. Here's a graph of the circle that we are referring to. The first thing that we're going to do is find an equation for dy dx in terms of t. Based on our parametric chain rule, we know that dy dx is equal to dy dt over dx dt. So the derivative of y with respect to t is equal to 5 cosine t and the derivative of dx, the derivative of our function x with respect to t is negative 5 sine t. We can rewrite this as negative cotangent t. So this is our dy dx. And we're going to rewrite this over here. just for reference. And the next thing we're going to do is find a value that makes dy dx equal to 0. So in order to make dy dx equal to 0, we need negative cosine t to equal 0. And sine t cannot equal 0. Otherwise, we would have an indeterminate form, and that's not good. So the values of t that make cosine t equal to 0 are pi divided by 2, 3 pi divided by 2, etc. So that would mean that our slope is equal to 0. So that is about over here and over here. That's when the slope is equal to 0. For the next part of the problem, we're going to find the value that makes dy dx equal or dy dx equal infinity. In this case, we would want cosine t not to equal 0 and sine t to equal 0 because as sine t approaches 0 or when it's equal to 0 then our dy dx is infinite. The values of t that make sine t equal to 0 are over here and over here. So in this case we would have 0 pi, 2 pi, etc.